Hello, I'm Susan Scurry with the marketing team at Print Audit. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to create an export configuration in Print Audit 6. When creating a data export in the Print Audit 6 job manager, you have the option to create and save different export configurations. These configurations allow you to define every element of the output file, including what data it will contain, how the data will be sorted, and how the output file will be saved. These configurations are very useful when creating an output file that must be formatted in a precise manner in order for it to be used in another application, such as accounting software. In the Job Manager application, go to the Accounting menu item and select Run Accounting. This opens the Export Jobs window. Here is where you can export jobs and schedule regular job exports. To define a new export configuration, select the Configurations button. First, determine the path, location, and file name of the file you want the export to go to. If you leave this blank, you will be prompted for a file name every time you export. You can go to the Browse button on the right to go to a location you wish the file to be saved. Next, choose whether the export will overwrite the existing file name or choose Append to add to an existing file. Or select Create with Date Time to create a new file that adds the date and time to the file name. In the Format Options tab, choose Delimited Output to have the export use a delimiter that you define to separate fields in a row of output. Most commonly, you would use a comma delimiter. Otherwise, you would choose Fixed Width Output to have the export use a fixed width for each column to separate the fields in a row of output. If Delimited Output is selected, in Delimited Options, choose the character you will use to delimit the fields. For this example, we will be using a comma. If the add-on row start is checked, Print Audit will add a field delimiter at the start of a row. If a field delimiter should be added at the end of the row, check the add-on row end box. Check the enclose strings in quotes box to pull all strings into quotation marks. To have the first row included as a row of names for all the columns you are exporting, check the output column name row. Changing the row delimited type will change which character is used at the end of the row delimiter in your export. You may also change the date format if you choose, and also include any characters that should be automatically removed from the data as it's exported. In this example, we will request that all asterisk characters should be removed from the export. Finally, you may configure the number of decimal places to use for currencies in the export. Let's move on to the Columns tab. In the Name column, you can review the data columns that will be included in the export and in which position the columns will be. You may select each name and change it to a different data column by using the drop-down menu. In the Action column, you may select how the column will be exported, either sorted in ascending or descending order. The buttons on the right will allow you to add new columns with the plus arrow, remove columns with the X button, remove all columns with the second button, and rearrange the order of the columns with the up and down arrows. Once you are satisfied with your configuration settings, select Save As, provide a name for your new configuration, and select OK. Choose Close to return to the Export Jobs window, and now if you look in the Configurations drop-down, you will see the export configuration that you have just defined. You may create as many export configurations as you need. To edit or delete an existing configuration, just select the Configurations button, then select from the Saved Configurations in the drop-down menu. Then you may either edit the settings, 
and select the Save button to replace the file or select Save As to give it a new name. You may also use the Delete button to completely remove this configuration permanently. For more information about Print Audit 6's powerful reporting features, please return to the video library and review our other helpful videos.